I'm going to show you how to make a simple, easy project with these scrappy strips. I need six strips of fabric that are two and a half inches wide and 12 inches long. I'm going to use my two and a half inch ruler because I want it perfectly straight and this is just easier for me. So I'm just making this two and a half inches wide. So I'm going to use a combination of strips and scrappy strips for this project. So now that we've got our strips sorted, we'll just leave those aside for now. You also need two more strips that are two and a half inches wide, but these need to be 12 and a half inches long. A two inch strip by six inches. This fabric is 16 inches by 12 and a half, and you also need a piece of wadding, batting, fusible fleece. I'm using foam, um, anything that gives it a bit of body. You need a 12 inch zip. This is 16 inches, so I'll cut this down. Ideally, you want a decorative zip like this one, but this is too short. I don't have a 12 inch zip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate the zip. And I have this bit of lace and I'm just going to put that lace on that zip and sew that bit of decoration on there. But if you can get some pretty zips, that would be perfect too. I'm gonna use that and lace. I also have this lace here that I might add as decoration. The first thing we're going to do is put our fabric together. So we'll put everything aside and work on that. With right sides together, sew a quarter inch seam and repeat for all of them. So we end up with all of them joined together. I have my quarter inch foot on and I've got my stitch length set at 2.4. Place your fabrics right sides together. So this is the wrong side facing upwards. Two pretty sides are facing each other. And just sew quarter inch seam allowance. Back stitch at either end. Don't pull on either of your fabrics, just guide them. Let the machine pull the fabric through. Open it out and give it a finger press. Now I'm pushing my seams over to this side because it'll be less bulky. Take your next strip, flip it over again so you've got right sides together. We're going to continue all the way to the end. And there we have our fabric. Press all the seams. Now if you notice, all my seams go over to the, the long strip rather than the scrappy strips. That just gives us less bulk. Take the two inch strip. I've also cut a piece of lace. This lace is one and a half inches wide work with the fabric first so with the wrong side facing up fold it in half lengthways so the right side of the fabric is facing on the outside and give it a press open this out now fold in the two side edges into that center fold and give those a press fold that in half again and give it a press so all the raw edges are inside that fold Place that over the centre of the lace. Top stitch an eighth of an inch all the way down both sides of that fabric. I've got my needle set at an eighth of an inch seam allowance and the size of my stitches are 0 to cut this in half, create two pieces. 
fold these, keeping the right sides facing out. I'm just going to baste along these open edges just to hold those down. And we're going to take the long, the two long pieces and sew those to the top and bottom edge. So right sides together, we'll sew down there, sew down there. So press these seams open. And I'm just going to trim this bit off here. For some reason it's a bit longer. If you have fusible fleece, iron that on now onto the back of your fabric. I'm using foam or if you have batting, wadding, anything like that, you want to quilt that on. Pin it down. I'm going to sew along these lines, sewing in the ditch. You can quilt yours down however way you prefer. You could do diagonal, stripes, fancy quilt patterns, freestyle, whatever you want to do. I'm going to use this stitch in the ditch foot. It has a guide down the middle and I'm going to use that. I'm just going to replace, change over my feet. And I will run that guide along the sewn stitches. Draw 3 eighths of an inch, one centimetre line out from the seam on both sides. Now take your lace trim and line that up with the bottom of your lace trim along that line and the top, pretty, the, end, the top of your lace trim facing towards the raw edge and pin that in place. And do that on both sides. Top stitch this lace down. Place the fabric right sides facing down onto your quilted piece and we're going to sew down these two edges here, the edges of this side piece. I'm going to trim away the foam in that seam allowance without cutting the stitches or the fabric. This will make the seams less bulky when we turn it right sides out. Now flip it right sides out and we'll give those seams a press. Baste an eighth of an inch just to hold these edges closed. Trim back this excess. Find the centre. Cut this zipper to 12 inches. I made an error here. 
Don't cut the zipper teeth away at the end of your zip. I have this zipper end stop that I'm going to put on here. I'm just going to fold these over. Just neatens that off. Mark the centre of your zip on both sides. Draw a quarter of an inch seam allowance along here and that's where I'm going to place my zip. Match the centre of your zip to the centre marks on the side edges. I'm going to pin that down. The edge of the zip is along that line. Sew that down first. First of all, I want to make sure that the zipper opens and it does, so that's fine. And I'm just going to sew an eighth of an inch. Now, I'm not using a zipper foot because this is a wide zipper, but normally you would use your zipper foot. I've sewn the zipper down along that line and the zipper opens and closes really well and that's what the inside looks like. Now I want to put a bit of, of this lace along the edge of that zipper. Sew that down. Just like I did before, I'm going to do both sides of the lace. So that's one side of the zipper done and it opens and closes nicely and now we just need to do the same for this side so again find the center draw a quarter inch seam match the edge of the zipper along that line So make sure that your fabric is all nice and even and we're going to sew that down there. I ended up taking the zipper off because I just couldn't get it right in the tube. So I pulled the end tab off and slid the zipper off. Now we need to put it back on. making sure that it's level. It's a bit longer here, that's fine, Should trim that. So mark your centre. Turn it inside out. Line your centre of your zipper up with that centre mark. I'm just going to put a couple of clips on the outside and I'll remove that centre one. Take the tabs that we made at the beginning, put these over the ends of the zipper, matching up, centralising them and matching up those raw ends. And we'll do the same this side. So the raw edge, line that up centre. I'm going to open the zipper a little bit. Line that up centre. A 
open that up. So, a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance down both of those two sides. Now I've messed up, I should not have cut this zipper out here. What happened is if I flip it right sides out, it's fine, that side, everything's fine. This side, I've got a hole because I cut the zipper out. Now I can fix that, it's not ruined. The way we do that is I will move the zipper up, take this stop off and re-sew the seam again across, straight across the zip. So we're going to start this all over again. I'm going to unpick this seam that I sewed. So the tip is don't cut your zip teeth. Okay, we're going to start again. I'm going to put the zipper on. My seam, I'm going to have to cut that off down there, but I'll do that afterwards. So mark your centre on both sides and flip it lining side out. Now line up your centre of your zip to that centre mark and put in a couple of pins or clips and the same this side. So line up the centre of the zip with that centre mark. Now take these tabs and put them centre of your zipper with the raw edges pointing out. Open up your zipper. And we're going to go and sew these side edges up. I want to make sure I catch the zipper, so I'm going to bring this in a lot more. Normally we would just sew a centimetre, three eighths of an inch, but because I've cut the zipper there, I'm going to have to bring it in another three eighths of an inch. So I'm going to have to trim this off after I've sewn the side seam. So I'm going to draw myself a seam just to clear that zip. So it's cut there and I want to sew it about there and go straight over that zip. On this side, I've got the stops, which are fine. And I'll just sew that straight, one centimetre, three eighths of an inch straight down there. I want my tab in line where I'm going to cut the zip, the fabric. So, it's, so I'm just moving it down so I don't waste the tab. The tab edge now is in line with this bit which is where I'm going to cut, cut off. I've sewn those side seams but I just want to check it before I go any further so I'm going to open the zip and just flip it out just to see what it looks like. Now you could leave it like that. I've need to finish off the edges but you could have it flat like that if you needed it flat for anything but we're going to box this up so I'm going to trim off to about an eighth to a quarter of an inch if you've got a serger you could serge these edges or we can go I'm going to go and zigzag over those edges or you could bind them
Well, that has given us a nice neat edge that won't fray. Now we're going to box the corners and to do that we need to pull this centre line here in line with the sewn line. measure one and a half inches across that mark so I've got my three quarter of an inch going down the seam so I know that it's square and I'm just drawing a one and a half inch line from that end to that end and we do the same for all four corners sew along those four lines I thought the camera was recording, but it wasn't. Once you've sewn the corners, cut off leaving a seam allowance and zigzag just like you did on the side seams. And we're all finished. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share, subscribe and like so that I can carry on continue making these videos for you.